Hey guys, Mars Sengen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so we are continuing on with the 50% support unit EZA showcases, and we have gotten to Physical Super Boo. So this one is going to be interesting because I feel like he is one of the units out of the 10 where he's kind of waiting for some of his best potential partners or best setups, right? Because we do now have a 200% team for a lot of these Martian Power units thanks to the AGL Android 21. She is, in fact, his only 200% lead. Um, but some of the units that, you know, one of the big units that you really want to be running him with for that extreme physical support is going to be the LR Boo tanks that obviously transforms into Buhan from the Worldwide Celebration with STR Vigio. But we're still waiting for them to get their easy A's. Um, we have put Buhan on the team just so we can kind of see them together. But until he gets his easy A, he's not going to be very relevant at the moment. But the Super Boo does have some pretty good uh, effects. I actually had completely forgotten. His super attack effect is that he heals 20% on super, which is quite a lot when you think about the HP that teams have nowadays. In fact, what do we have on this team? Yeah, we basically have... It's just under, but we basically have 700k HP. So what that means is every single time he super attacks, he heals us 140k, which means if he does a double super, we get double that in the same turn, which is pretty good. So all of these guys, as we've said in the other videos, they all have the same passive. So he supports physical types, three key 10% attack and defense, extreme physical types, 50%. So extreme physical gets 60% and three key. He changes orbs to physical. He gets 50% attack and defense per orb obtained. An extra 20% attack and defense and 10% crit chance if they're physical orbs. Uh, then if we have two other uh, extreme units on the team, which we do, we get that ability where once only if we drop below 50% HP, he changes the entire orb field to physical. Um, and then, of course, if we have three other uh, physical allies, which don't have to be extreme, which is really good, um, he has guard for four turns. So that's why we're running the 21 team, but we've got units like the MVP 17. He's a super physical unit, so he will still get three key and 10% attack and defense from Super Boo. But because he's a physical unit, him, the LR androids, and then the Margin 21 count as the three physical units for... Uh, super boost passive so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this I had to, I put twenty. I wouldn't normally put her in slot one but I was able to get the orbs to drop so we could actually get a couple of orbs for super boo now the other thing about his super attack effect I did start to say and then talked about his passive is he gets the 20% heal on super I thought that was all that he did with his super attack effect so I was initially worried that he would be a bit lower down on the list out of the 10. But he does actually also raise attack and defense for one turn. So that is good because those buffs from Super should be based on the defense that we have once we've picked up the orbs. So he's got 100k start of turn here with Metamorphosis and Fear and Faith active with Evil 21. But if we pick up six orbs here, five of which are physical, he goes up to 362. So the 30% on super will be from this. So he basically has 500k defense and guard on turn one here. And of course, he's going to heal us 20%. So even if Android 21 in slot one had taken a super, type disadvantage, she might have taken a little bit of damage. But then Super Boo comes in with the super and gets us the heal. So it works very, very nicely. Um... And yeah, that double, like, I can't, I really want to see a turn where he just gets the double super when we're on low-ish health. That's going to be uh, very good. But yeah, Evil 21, very, very strong banner unit. Obviously, this rotation for her, not too crazy because she only has the two links active as well. But her getting 60% support from this physical boo. If she's on a rotation with, uh, you know, another big bad bosses unit or something, she's going to look crazy. And then the LR androids, you know, they're not sharing any links with this boo, but they're getting the 60% support from him as well. So still works out very nicely for them. Um, yeah, this is not a great rotation, but what can you do? Um, yeah, we'll just have to do this. Uh, we'll try and save. I did bring this in case we need it as well. What is it? It's all red orbs. So we'll try and save red and orange for uh, potential super boo turns. So we'll just do that. Yep, 
Yeah, no candy, no chocolate, make Super Boo something something. Makes Boo a dull boy. Right, so of course he AOE'd in slot one, but... We should be, uh... We want to lose some health as we go anyway, because we want to see, uh... We want to see Super Boo get us the big heals. So, in fact, we've lost so much health, we're just going to get the ultimate orb change on the next turn, so... Also, it seems STR Super Boo was in slot 7. I really want to get the uh, transformation into Boo Han. They share a few links. Because that's the only problem, as we've been saying, with the characters that we have. Um, I actually didn't put LR Boo Tanks on the team. I thought I had. Um, we want to get some characters that we can get some links with, as well as just seeing their raw performance from picking up orbs. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. The weird art of Captain America with the, the giant chest, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Super Boo art is one of... Oh, I think is one of the least impressive out of the ten. Mainly because there's, I feel like there's so much empty space in the card. Like, around him. And he doesn't have the best... Like, he's got the little lightning things. His sticker effect isn't, like, terrible. But it's definitely not, like, one of the better ones. Imagine how much we would be healing if we'd uh, transformed with one of these already. Alright. Well, Super Boo. Changed the entire field of orbs. Now, unfortunately, these guys don't link until we get a transformation, so... What's the difference here? We got... 94k. Metamorphosis and Fear and Faith puts us to 103. So there you go. Heal to full. 1.1 million defense with guard because we're still early enough in the event. So it's turn three. So 1.1 million defense with guard. <laughs> Typical that we got to the wrong thing and he got the AoE. Like, it would have been really good to get the, uh, like, AoE in slot one on that turn where we lost all that HP on the turn where we actually had Super Boo. Yeah, physical Android 21 because she carries her defense over for, is it three turns or four turns? Oh, this is going to be a spicy turn. Right, save all the STR orbs in case we want to use the orb changing item. The only problem with the units that do break, because she raises defense for, is it three turns? The only problems with those units is you do want to be supering with them every turn so they can keep up those stacks. And we didn't get the super with her on the previous turn. But, but yeah, a lot of these units uh, are in that same sort of position where sometimes you're running them with other characters that they're not necessarily sharing a ton of links with. But they're so strong, just off of their own back with the... Uh, buffs that they give themselves, the orbs. Because remember, if he's at 1.1 million defense, that means after supering, he's at like 1.5, basically. And then if he supers again, we go up to like 1.8 and we get another 20% heal. So, pretty ridiculous. Also, it'd be really good against Fusion Tomasu, because not only is he going to tank the AoEs, like, well, because of type advantage and the defense he gets from the orbs, but then after Zamasu's done the AoE, and like potentially done like a large amount of damage to everybody, Super Boo then heals you. So. Yeah, LR in Goku Black on the 200% for the tech gods. Yeah, the tech, the tech LR gods and the physical LR Super Saiyan 4s. That you can kind of get away with using them in some events because having that guard on the first turn is good, but obviously they do start quite start out quite low with their defense and stuff. But all right, can we transform twenty one yet? We can. This is where uh, Evil Twenty One is going to look crazy. She has every single link active on this rotation. Um. Her defense stacks have worn off, though, unfortunately. But oh, we could get a spicy. We can get six orbs. So Super Boo now no longer has guard. So I'm going to do this. 
So now we can get 14, and they're all physical as well. <laughs> so, yeah, now he's at 736k, and when he supers, uh, he's going to go up to, what, just under a million? Like 960, 970, something like that. Um, and that's if he only supers once, of course. Which I think he hasn't done. He hasn't got a chance to do any additionals, I think, really, so far. But, but yeah, I'm expecting the physical uh, 21 to look pretty crazy on this turn now. All links active, 60% support. Yeah, 9.6 million from Super Boo. Yeah, five point. Okay, she did. Yeah, because obviously she didn't keep the buffs. It's kind of like the Super Saiyans, where the uh, the LR from Christmas, right, where they carry over the buffs. So if she triple supers, which she did on her first turn. Then on the second turn, she's kept all of those attack raises, and then you have her with, you know, sixty percent support and getting more attack raises on the supers from that turn. Um, unfortunate that we only got the one super from her there. It's a shame because this was a potential turn for her to go. Absolutely crazy, but, but yeah, Super Boo, definitely very interesting. The heal and the raise attack and defense, I think, make him pretty valuable. <laughs> yep, double digit tanking. I was just showcasing the 50% uh, supports, so, yep, yep the Buhan transformation. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to get around to actually getting them together now. Because um, we're easily just going to kill... I guess I could not transform 21. But yeah, we're not going to kill... Sorry, we are going to kill Frieza this turn, like, guaranteed. Especially because Buhan is so good once he transforms. <laughs> I would suggest, when it comes to summoning for these guys, I would suggest waiting. Because their banner's going to drop on the 18th and then the anniversary banners will be out within like a week or two right so the banners should be still up when the anniversary banners come out so it's worth uh, waiting to see obviously like who the anniversary units are what they do um, and then you can kind of make that choice plus if the banners are live at the same time then of course i would recommend summoning for the anniversary units first make sure you actually pull a copy of both of them and then potentially do some summons on the support banners, right? So, yeah, we are going to kill him here. I don't think there's much chance we get to see Buhan with the Super Boo now, because it's like three more turns from now. But... All right, so... We can get nine orbs in slot one here. We can't actually get any more physical. Oh, no, wait, no, it's red, isn't it, that changes? Might as well do it, I guess. I'm not going to get much extra out of it, but... Yeah, we get 12. Plus, and remember that MVP to, uh, 17 gives defense to all allies, not just, like, super types or anything like that. So, yeah, he's at 683k. He probably will still take a lot of damage from a super here if he gets hit in slot one. But ideally, he would live, and then we get to see, like, the big heal, right? So, what's 21 at now? She's at 457k start of turn, which is pretty good. Um, let's do that. I didn't get supered, okay. Yeah, Dokkan Battle 2 will come around and we'll still have no LR Kid Boo, true. Oh, we got an additional normal. Didn't get any additional supers, sadly. And now, of course, we get super attacks. Although we have like 900k defense at this point, so. Yeah, 571. I mean, Frieza does still hit pretty hard. This is just Red Zone Frieza. I like to try out these, uh, when we do initial showcases for units, we do some of these longer stages like Frieza or Cell. Uh, MVC, is MVP, MVP 17 going to be okay here? Because uh, his damage reduction doesn't activate mid-turn. And I don't think we had it at the start of the turn. Well, actually, yeah, I think he should be okay now with the double super. Yeah. 
Okay, that's fine. <laughs> well, we lost a lot of HP. Oh, you know what that means, though. Yeah, yeah, it does. Android 16. Although our start of turn defense of him is not great, so... Although that gives her her buff, doesn't it? So we probably should actually just do this. So yeah, probably not going to see uh, Super Boo come back again, but... Because yeah, post-active skill and then taking the one hit so that she gets her buff, um, Android 21 can tank most stuff in the game. And then obviously after she's supered, she can literally tank any super attack in the game. Because her active skill counts as her supering, so it gives her that buff to her defense uh, that we could see in the, like, the screen, the team screen. But then obviously each super that she does, she's raising her defense as well. So even with type disadvantage, like she'll tank Freeze's super attack if he supers her here. Oh god, yeah, she just keeps going. I can't believe there are people that think that AGL 21 is mid. Like, <laughs> look at what she's doing on this turn. And she doesn't have big bad bosses active because the AGL 21 isn't transformed, the one next to her, so they can link. So this is her doing all of this without having big bad bosses active as well. Terrific. Hey, no worries. Uh, no pain. It's always, uh, always good to ask. But yeah, I like to do the freezer stage because it's quite long, so it gives us a chance to see multiple turns with the unit. But yeah, Super Boo, definitely very good. Um, the heal and the defense raise means that even when his guard runs out, he has relatively good defense and is getting you that big heal. Sadly, during the course of this run, we never really got any of those moments where that heal would have been super, super good, like super useful. But it's something that will, of course, be useful in runs, especially against some of the tougher bosses. So I think he could be very good. When we see the EZA for physical boot tanks, like I could basically just run this team and then just drop boot tanks on there instead of, say, like either MVP 17 or maybe the LR androids. Because the LR androids, as good as they are, they're only supporting androids, whereas MVP 17 supports everyone. Um, and then, yeah, Super Boo next to that physical boot tanks. Once the Bootex gets his easy A, that rotation will go crazy. Especially in the first two turns where the physical Super Boo can just go in slot one because he has guard. So, yeah, definitely very strong. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Masked Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.